what's up what's going on how y'all doing how y'all feeling my peeps my peoples we is in the building let's get down to the situation but please don't forget to like comment subscribe share the video baby let's get down to the situation let's talk about miss wendy williams as you guys know there's so many different stories going on with wendy williams who knows what to believe who knows what is really happening because we got all these publications first we got the report today that wendy williams is cleaning house she done fired her management team she done fired Bernie she has fired Howard and basically they were contracted through De Deb Ma Mercury basically they hired them for Wendy and Wendy saying that she done fired them allegedly this is a source that is close to Wendy that's out here running the beans running their mouth or basically you know they making up this ish as they go baby so y'all tell me what y'all think about this situation so there's a whole bunch going on but in any event now the new story is that the rapper the rep that works for Wendy Williams, you know, which was hired by the um, distributing company, the production company, which is Deb Mar Mercury, um, Mr. Howard Bragman is basically has been fired and he's claiming that he don't even know what's going on. He said one minute he says he talked to Wendy on FaceTime. The next minute he said that he hasn't talked to Wendy. So there's a whole bunch of lies going on out here in these streets, baby. So y'all tell me what y'all think about this situation. Also, she doesn't Done fired them she done got them out the way and now the new story is when it comes to wendy williams is that she is basically getting ready to sue so maybe if wendy williams is actually getting ready to sue and she's getting ready to have a lawsuit against her former employees basically sue suing deb mar mercury co-president marcus and also bernstein you know basically after they announced that wendy williams show is going to be canceled and she is going to be replaced by sherry shepherd therefore wendy williams right now is considering a lawsuit this is what the blogs are saying this is what the websites are saying this is what sources close to wendy williams are is saying but at the same time these same sources these same people these same blogs these same publications are also saying that wendy's not coherent wendy don't know what's going on she's delusional she can't recognize people all types of stuff so there's so many rumors and lies going on with wendy williams we just need wendy williams to speak we need to stand up the real wendy williams stand up the real wendy williams speak up baby we need to hear your voice sister we need to hear from you baby we you don't have to speak up on the case you don't got to speak up on the show but let us know what's good and if you ain't happy with sherry shepherd you need to let the world know and the people know for real for real because the only reason why people are still sitting around and waiting around for the wendy williams show to come back is because who are they here for wendy williams what's the name of the show wendy williams show when sherry shepherd was on the show when they had the guest host on the show who was they there for wendy williams baby that was that's the name of the show wendy williams instagram you know they need to change the wendy williams instagram to sherry shepherd instagram like whatever like let's do this like stop eating off of wendy baby stop eating off of wendy but in any event when it comes down to Wendy Williams, allegedly a, a source that is close to Wendy Williams tell Radar Online and also OK Magazine that basically Wendy Williams is ready to sue because she feels like, you know, she was fired and she shouldn't have been fired because she was out here on sick leave. And basically she felt a certain type of way and she's upset and she felt like they dismissed her like she was trash, baby. Like they threw her out with the leftovers. They threw her out the back door. They threw her out the window and Wendy Williams ain't feeling in that situation Lee allegedly because this is what they are seeing out here in these streets baby I'm just repeating what I read and what I gathered together to let y'all know that something fishy something just ain't right for real for real so in any event Wendy Williams also a source close to Wendy also tells Radar and OK Magazine that Sherry Shepard backstabbed her that Sherry Shepard was just supposed to be in there filling in as a guest judge like she didn't supposed to take over the show she didn't supposed to take over anything she didn't supposed to take over no time slot she didn't supposed to take over none of that so it makes it makes sense when Sherry Shepard said that she's not taking over the Wendy Williams show no one could replace Wendy Williams you know basically things are going to change 
stage. She's going to have her own show. And it's going to be called The Sherry Show. Sherry Show sounds terrible in any event. But go ahead, Sherry Shepard. She done came through. She came in. She got an opportunity. And she pounced up on it. Baby, Sherry done pounced up on the situation. But a lot of people out here saying that Sherry Shepard, you know, she got a whole lot of tricks in her closet. A whole lot of tricks in her bag. And she will abandon you in a heartbeat, baby. And, you know, Wendy is feeling like she's betrayed because they were supposed to be friends. She was just supposed to just sit there and keep the seat warm. And, baby, Sherry said, uh-uh, not today. I'm going to cook the whole meal and then sit down in that warm chair, baby. So, is she going to be sitting down in a blue chair, a red chair, an orange chair? What kind of chair is she going to be sitting in, y'all? So, y'all tell me what y'all think about this situation. So, it is going down. Allegedly. Because, you know, it seems like a lot of this mother stuff is a lie out here in these streets. We need to hear from the queen herself. We need to hear from the queen of me, the queen of TV, the queen of radio, the queen. We need to hear from Miss Wendy Williams. Whether you like her or you don't like her, she's been doing it for decades, baby. She, she's in generationals of families, you know. From the radio to the TV, you know, she's been in families for decades, okay? And the people that she has been in their living room and she has been on their radio station, if they find out that something is slick and ugly is going on, you think they're going to sit there and support Sherry Shepard? Oh, no. Her show is going to be finito and done before you can even turn around in October. It's going to be done. But in any event... Continue on with the story. Allegedly, Wendy Williams is really considering, you know, fa having legal action against the producers. And basically, she is really upset with the situation that she's hurt and she feels betrayed because she's trying to get herself together. And she really feels like she was back stabbed you know in the back and in the front when it comes to sherry shepherd and basically they're saying that these tears that sherry shepherd was on the wendy williams show crying ain't nothing but crocodile tears baby she don't care about no wendy they saying if she don't carry she don't care about a baby she don't carry she don't care about an adult <clears throat> i don't know that's what people were saying i don't know sherry's history but in any event um they're also saying that you know Wendy Williams was like, basically, I was just supposed to be on sick leave and I was getting ready to come back to work when I'm able to come back to work. You just can't toss me out in the street. You just can't get rid of me. You just can't throw me out like that. I ain't nobody. You can't do that to me. And so in any event, in the same token, Wendy Williams is really considering suing because Chris Cuomo is suing CNN for $60 million and also Megyn Kelly, she got $60 million when she was kicked out of NBC. And so, therefore, Wendy Williams is considering that she might be able to get $60 million and more, baby, because she was fired. She was thrown out without any warning, without any preparations, without anything. So y'all tell me what y'all think about this was upset and she was feeling a certain type of way because this statement was given on her behalf and if she's not happy with you know leaving and she's basically believing that she was backstabbed in the back and she was replaced without her permission when she just really just thought that she was on sick leave and she was going to return when she was fully able and ready to return so it seems like there's a lot of underhand going on given a statement that it's okay so wendy williams supporters can support the move and sherry shepherd taking over the show and also you got the situation where you know there's a video released an old video released of wendy williams where it looks like she's okay but it's an old video so you got everybody playing on the team of the devil lord 